Here's my little SketchUp file for the closet I'm gonna build, as well as cutting list and some drawings to help me figure it out. I'm gonna cut everything slightly bigger than I need to, so that I could have some room for mistakes. The biggest panels that I have and as you can see I have some issues with that I had to go and buy the roller because forcing it through the blade was not comfortable without it And suddenly, after several good panels, I found the chip out. So I decided to use a trick with the tape and to hope for the best. And again, first couple of panels were just fine, until they were not. As you can see, the scoring was pretty clean but the through cut was not. After inspecting my blade, I found lots of goo. Probably tape left it. So I decided to never use tape again and figure out what's going on. And it seems it was time to make my own zero clearance insert. I'm gonna make it out of half inch MDF and I'll need a couple of pieces just in case. Also I will use um, my current insert as a template. And as you can see the direction where you push the rotor is very important. Here I'm making a cut, trying to be very careful, stop the blade, and boom. As you can see, the cut wasn't good at all. I got pissed and forgot to wait for blade to stop completely. After passing it through the table saw again, 
I decided to try if it fits. And of course it's stuck. This will, no, no, wait. I will pull it, uh, turn it on, and then you will be doing like this, okay? Okay. But first, dust kind of collection. <laughs> We will return to table saw insert a little bit later, but for now, since I don't have MFT table, I'm gonna make something that should hopefully replace it. So I made sure the melamine piece is square to one edge. Then I put kind of like a small fence on top of it that is also square and do the same thing on the other side of the panel. As you can see, I also have a second panel that works as a stop. So I'm clamping it all down and making a test cut. For bigger panels, I'm gonna move the stop further away. Here's when I found a problem. As you can see, two absolutely the same MDF boards are not level and since my workbench is just a sheet of uh, melamine over sawhorses um, it is definitely sagging so of course I decide to make a torsion box for my table because I already forgot what I was working on and here you can see my zero clearance insert and I also found a riving knife that doesn't have the dust collection on top of it. Zero clearance insert helped, um, I would say pretty good, but not perfect. But I definitely started getting very small and unattainable chips. I'm gonna use pocket holes to attach those pieces to a big MDF sheet that you see behind. That is just a leftover from my closet build, which is still ongoing at this point, but who cares? So I'm using the level um, to clamp it to the melamine sheet and then clamp my guide or how do you call it I don't know to that to to the level so that I could make sure it's all flat after that I flipped my torsion box around and found that some of the nails uh, almost popped out from the other side then I decided that I need some hold down clamps for my no MFT jig. And here comes another mistake. And another one. Turns out the torsion box isn't flat something went wrong. Interesting that it's flat along the length of the torsion box, but not the width. Here is I'm trying to show you that when I clamp everything down, my panel lifts a little bit. And I'm thinking that's what's making the cut a little bit uneven. Also, the track is a little bit above, which resulted in more chipping. And I'm trying to fix it, thinking maybe um, there's something stuck in between that lifts it up a little bit. Because at this point, I can't believe that um, melamine is 
different size. I'm scraping everything that I can to make sure it's all gonna be aligned well. It doesn't help, so I decided to send it a little bit. Here I'm trying to understand what is going on and what's happening, probably because the tartian box isn't flat. This panel wobbles a little bit. And since my guides or kind of like a fence for my jig was still a little bit above my panels, I decided to add some edge bending because that's the only thing I could think of. And as you can see, I shimmed um, my panels with cards. And here is another epic fail, which is tea track that popped out, but thankfully the clamp held it in place. Okay, after lots of struggles, I finally have my panels done, and now I can drill the holes for dowels. Did I tell you that I also had to make my own doubling jig? First, I'm going to be drilling all the um, holes for vertical parts. This jig is probably the only good thing that happened during this project because it actually worked. And by now, I refuse to count the issues because it's just an epic fail, to be honest. Then I switched to my horizontal panels and using this extension um, to line things up. I marked all the shelves that I have and then just move and jig around. I'm staring at the missing spot. Somehow I missed it and now I have to flip it all around again. For next panels, I think I don't have to use um, my jig because I can just use existing holes. But that's another epic failure because melamine can't hold the drill. It chips out all the time. And later I actually had to come back uh, with my jig and redrill some of the holes because they wouldn't line up. Doing some dry fitting before we move it all upstairs to make sure it all goes well together. And looks like I see the light at the end of the tunnel. Final steps are to do edge bending as well as pocket holes. Pocket holes are needed to attach entire thing to the back wall. And here is I'm installing the back wall upstairs and making sure it all lines up well. Why do I always stop walking the man? <laughs> yeah. Push. Push. Good. <laughs> oh. Ah. oh, good. That would squash. Yeah. With That's them. a good squeeze out. Can you tell me our organization structure? Who is manager? Okay, so you're just a vocal, I'm the second manager, and mom is the top manager. And I'm worker? Yeah. And you second manager? Yeah. And mom top manager? Yeah. And who is the owner of our business? Mom. Okay. <laughs> Go with the towels, dude. Okay. <laughs> Avoided the tight space. It's always good when you have a little child. Because tight spaces for these are not easy for little adults. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hello. 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 
Is that good? A little bit more. Good. So when it's done? Now it's done. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so this is part two of the building thingy was this. If you're new, you can just watch the first episode and then you know blah blah blah. Cut. Cut. While we were putting it all together, we managed to scratch my lovely trim, but that's a quick fix, just a little bit of sanding and, and paint. And here's why I don't like the pocket holes, because I had to fill them up and hide them somehow. And other than some paint, I didn't know how. Just happy I got the sweetest helper. And here's our final look. You can of course see some paint, but I'll hide it behind the doors.